striving to achieve something and never giving up. You've got to have that resilience. And and how do you achieve that? What is it that you do to, to have that resilience? Well, like this, Faith, when you when people wanted to have a very great well-being and, and fit body, let's say, they were going to the gym, right? Because they wanted to exercise. Resilience is something that you want to build. It's, it's a muscle. Like I call it like a resilience muscle. It's not something that you will get it right from the beginning. But what I would suggest and I will say resilience coming from really going back to upgrading your mindset. Yeah. Because you can cannot have a resilience or build a resilience muscle if you having the mindset of I can't achieve it. I would never be that. It, it's for me, everything we do, if, if we can actually hack our brain and telling our brain we are in charge today, not you, is we are in control, mm -hmm. then you know the things that you can do to overcome all the challenges and building the resilience muscle. Yeah, and I'm just going to read a quote that you've got at the beginning of your chapter on resilience. Joy collected over time fuels resilience, ensuring we'll have reservoirs of emotional strength when hard things do happen and that's Brene Brown and she's absolutely a brilliant brilliant her. woman and one of resilience at plus 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 that woman keeps coming back and coming back and a big inspiration to us all so yeah absolutely fascinating and resilience you've got to build that muscle yeah. you've got to you've, you you can't do it without it and it's really important Another one is manifestation. Now the manifestation, we can manifest anything, as you say, and that is so true. We can manifest anything if we want to and we are, are ready to apply and act, take action. Yeah, so I, in my book I talk about manifestation is different from, and I'm just gonna say praying or um, wishful thinking. Yeah. And manifestation is you have a dream that you want to achieve then you feel it you believe it you can see it you embody it and you take action towards it a lot of people that not be able to manifest things in their life is because it was just a wishful thinking and they think oh if i meditate for five minutes universe is going to give it to me oh i don't uh, think so <laughs> and, <laughs> and me having because I'm Asian, just in case if you can't tell. <laughs> uh, having a very rich Chinese background as well, because my dad is a Burmese Chinese. Uh, my dad is big on Chinese metaphysic. And for me, when we're listening and actually learning from a Chinese metaphysic perspective was what we can do to create and manifest the thing we want with the universe. Now, Manifest things in the universe that makes no difference than you doing a business deal, by the way. Mm. And what I mean by that is, is let's say if you want to achieve a certain goals and dream, you're also going to tell the universe, what are you going to do for you to get it? So it's almost writing a business proposal and say, okay, in order for me to get ABC, the first step I'm going to do is this, the second step I'm going to do is this, and the third step I'm going to do is going to do this. And can you, universe, can you have a look and see does that require or does that fair? Uh, and then we go and use it to make it, to manifest it. To make it life. happen, take the action. That's right. The plan to yeah. make it happen and take the action. And with the, I, I like um, your quote here for manifestation, thoughts become things. If you see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. And that's Bob Proctor, who just recently yeah. passed away. Yeah. And and this is the book here. So if you can see it there, go buy it. Where is it available? Yeah, so it's actually on my website. So it's www.youwantgroup.com. So it's Y-O-U-W-A-N-T-G-R-O-U-P.com. And you will have this little pop-up, little box yeah. there, then you can purchase it. Well, I got mine, and mine signed <laughs> there. Yeah. So, and I will read that too. But you, you um, wanted to say thank you to the person that wrote the forward for you. So, my books, I'm very grateful. Not only that it become the number one Amazon bestseller, but also that it has endorsed 
uh, by many community leaders. So I'm very grateful and lucky enough to have uh, the mayor of Manyham, uh, Michelle, written one of the preface. Um, and also I've got uh, Victorian Multicultural Commission's Vivian to write um, my other board. Mm -hmm. And also I have endorsed by uh, which is something that I'm very close to, Mental Health Foundation Australia, mm -hmm. the chairperson Hassan uh, was able to actually give me many endorsements from other community leaders as well, which again give me the strength also to keep promoting my book, but not promoting the book as from a brand perspective, but promoting the book as in, again, you can be the leader you want to be. There's uh, a lot of quite easy chapters and at the end of each chapter, we actually have exercise. So we have questions and also a reflections for everyone to actually go back and look into it. So therefore, it's, it's almost like a step-by-step -step guide for leadership. Then we all know that, hey, we're not just reading the book because we talk about strategy, right? Yeah. Because I know people are going to go back and read and not doing anything. Now you're actually taking action. Take action, yeah. Each chapter, at the end of chapter, you get to think. It's fruitful thoughts and you get to write things, get to think about what you want to do, what are some of the action that you could take and for me that is important because i could hear sitting here all day talk about leadership but at the end of the day if no one's taking action i'm not doing a great job either yeah because you're not being you're not inspiring them i like this bit here be your authentic self it's okay to be vulnerable and authentic know that you are neither an angel nor a devil positive or nor negative you are just being you your true self inspires others as it shows your passion and your love and it's so true yeah being your authentic self is is extremely powerful yeah for yourself and for others because others can you know see feel and hear yeah and the reason why I talk about you non-positive or negative, you are you know, non-angels or devil is because we all have the side that where you might not want people to see. And I'm just only saying that because fear of being judged, right? Yeah. And by really Absolutely. allowing you and everybody to see the good side or the so-called bad side, that you're no longer being in too positive or too negative. Mm -hmm. You are in the right in the middle and you'll be able to actually make conscious decisions without bias yeah and i've and another bit here is commitment stay committed to your life lives and goals knowing there is a compelling reason to do whatever it takes to get there and that means just taking the action and really believe that what you want is yours yeah correct and what are you willing to commit to get there because yeah. again you know what are you willing to give up are you going to give up watching Netflix 10 hours a day so then you can go and study something, right? So to be whatever you want to be or are you willing to give up eating that cake that you really love and then you want to make sure that you go into the gym? The choice is yours. At the end of the day, we all have a choice. Mm. And it's ask, your, ask yourself why do you want to do team building? And it's not just team building because you're working in an organization it's team building with the people that you surround yourself with your they're your team your friends are your team they're your greatest support and if they're not say bye bye but it it's really important that you you have those people around you they say five you can have more if you want but make sure they're people that actually do truly and honestly support and want to support you and know that you've got it and they've got your back. Yeah, and when I look at team building, it could be team building with your team. Mm -hmm. It could be team building that with your partner. It could be team building with your family or even with your friends. For me, having that bond building whether that it's really enhancing relationship whether it's professional or personal relationship mm. yeah and mm, 
there's just so much in this, isn't there? We could talk all day. Yeah. All... I could sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can sleep here on your own. <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm not doing that. Not, not doing I'll that. I'll end up using this microphone to sing karaoke. <laughs> oh, I went to a birthday party on a Saturday night and they had karaoke. I wasn't joining in the karaoke, but it was fun watching. <laughs> it was... It was absolute fun watching. Well, you need to join my karaoke. Oh, you then? oh. <laughs> it just absolutely terrifies me. Thinking, singing, singing and people can hear me? No way. <laughs> that if they want to be in pain. Well, if you don't sing, you can dance. <laughs> oh, well, I can do that. I can, I can do that. You've got here, um, set realistic goals. What do you mean by that? Yeah, we... From a manifestation standpoint, we talk about the realm of possibility. So now, okay, and I'm going to break it down by saying I'm going to use million dollars, right? Because it's easier. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it's only 250,000. <laughs> yeah. It's 250,000 four times. That's right. So let's say if you want to setting a goal and say you want to achieve million dollars next month. Okay. So let's okay, just say. Okay, I, I want to do that. Yep. And what you want to actually look at is, is have you done something like this before? If you have done something like this before or close enough, it's easier for you to get there, mm -hmm. which is fast. Yes. But if you haven't done anything like this before, the time frame is quite short, which means that you're probably not going to sleep. And it depends where you're at. So if you currently, and I'm going to use example, and I have that in my book, if you're currently earning $100 a month, and you want to be a um, uh, you know achieving million dollars in next month see the gap is quite huge only nine hundred ninety nine thousand dollars <laughs> whatever yeah and we're not oh, saying that you quite. can't mm. achieve it it's possible for you to achieve million dollars right yeah what we're saying is is not in the realm of possibility yet mm. why don't we shorten it instead of a million let's get to a thousand dollars dollars a month first yeah so that's what Chunk we're talking it. about realistic goals right yeah. and there's plenty of smart goals there for mm. you because an example in google for you to search but i guess the whole idea is is if you know that it's, it's easier for you to achieve you have a time frame mm -hmm. you know that it's achievable uh those usually is an example for you to get there then knowing that okay well if i can achieve a thousand then i know that i can achieve ten thousand and then I can achieve 100,000, but you just have to go through it. it it's, it's like playing games, right? You're level one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You kill yeah. the monster and you go to the next level. Yeah. So yeah. go to level one first, and then you will go to level two. And eventually, that you will find it's actually easier to achieve. Because otherwise, that you're actually setting yourself a disappointment. If yes. You can't achieve it, and then you get demotivated. Yes. And think, well, it's I can't achieve goals. Well, why Someone's, would I bother? Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Iris told me that I could achieve anything that I want now, but and the, and she tell she told me lies. Yeah, <laughs> and she's on the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> and that you can, but you have to do it the right way. Yes, right strategy. Right? Yeah, the yeah. right strategy and put that plan in place and chunk yeah. it and just chip away at it. It doesn't have, it doesn't. I mean, creating a business and having a successful business doesn't happen overnight. No. I wish yeah. I could say they open <laughs> overnight, but it didn't happen to me. <laughs> and it, it takes a long time. But you've, you've set your goals, you chip away at it, you achieve that, then you move on to the next one, and then the next one after they're all achieved. And voila, you're there. Yeah. Without you knowing it, realising that you've done all the hard work to achieve what you wanted. Well, what I have achieved today was pretty much set that in my journal a few years ago. And in when I first started, I thought, well, I'm just going to achieve it the next week. But it really depends that, you know, if you did have a right strategy, again, going back to it, some of the items that I get to achieve faster, some of the items that it takes me longer to mm. achieve it doesn't mean that I couldn't yeah. it's just taking me a longer time and for me to have the expectation knowing that it's okay to give myself this time frame to achieve it absolutely now we're coming to the end of the show so 
what one tip would you give the listeners to show their vulnerability show up and work start working for their first goal well you only have one i was gonna say three. Oh well <laughs> three but you know <laughs> yeah so for 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 anything i guess the free advice I always give it to all my clients and people, the first one is, you know how people always say time is money? Yes. And I'm going to disagree it. Mm -hmm. Time is not money. Time is actually more valuable than money. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll actually agree with you then. Yeah. Money you can earn anywhere, anyhow. You can earn a dollar, mm. right? Even just like this. Mm. But time you can't get back. You can actually you can't actually go back and say, I want that time back. Mm -mm. Can I get it? We all only have 24 hours a day. You have someone like Richard Branson, ultra successful, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no excuse that we can't achieve things that we don't want. It's more about using our time more wisely. Yes. In terms of how we want to show up. Now, there will be plenty of opportunities out there. Not all the opportunities are right there for you and ready for you right this moment. So again, choosing the time wisely and knowing that, okay, pick and choose what will help you and leverage that in order for you to achieve the goal you want. The second thing is very link to link it back to the time is not money, is outsourcing. Mm. Because we talk about we only have 24 hours a day, and we don't know what we don't know. Mm. And when you're not sure how to get there, you want to seek help or finding someone to help you to close that skills, knowledge and experience gap. So then you can achieve the goal faster. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of businesses when they first started, uh, they usually will go, okay, I'm gonna trade my time with money because they don't wanna spend the money. Okay, and we're talking about time here. Yeah. So you third the thing very quickly. Yeah. So that's why we just want to make sure that it's an outsource seek for help. Yeah. Um, the third one, I guess, is just have fun. Yeah. Along the way. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Iris. It's been an absolute joy to have you back on the show. And yeah. to see where you've come from to where you are today, I say congratulations. Thank you. Well done. And you should be very proud of your book and inspiring others to be their better selves. So thank you. Thank you so much. Now it is time for the news and 